And the company also announcing it is launching a SPAC. Joining us now for more is Liberty Media's president and CEO, Greg McFay. Greg, always good to have you, even virtually, although typically on this day we get to actually be in person, hopefully next year. Um, let's start with this, with this SPAC announcement. It's, it's new news. So, uh, you know, why? Why is Liberty launching a special purpose acquisition company? Well, as we filed the registration statement this morning, I'm somewhat limited about what I can say. But we see opportunities out there where uh, the SPAC could be an interesting tool in our corporate finance arsenal and where we could put capital to work in ways that are beneficial to us and, and uh, the, the shareholders of the SPAC. All right. I mean, you know, you may be limited, but I, I, I got to ask you a couple more questions. I mean, Liberty exists as this entity... As this entity where, you know, if I'm an investor, I want your uh, acumen in terms of financials, in terms of doing tax efficient transactions, in terms of understanding an industry that you're mentioning that the SPAC is focused on. Why isn't this a conflict of interest with your current business? Uh, it's a very fair question. And I think if you look, some of our entities have capital, which they could apply to incremental opportunities in the space and other than don't. We have, as you know, several entities, several stocks, and they're all well capitalized, but they're different levels of excess capital and the ability to apply. So we have put in place some rules to ensure there are no conflicts. Uh, we've always had this issue about where something goes, and logically, uh, things seem to fall into place. But with the SPAC, we've made extra assurances that those conflicts won't arise. But you still conceivably, Greg, are going to end up looking at the similar assets and making different decisions. I, I don't know. I, I just, again, uh, well, I, why? I, I'm not sure the I don't know is the right answer, David. I think the right answer is <laughs> that, uh, look, we'll have for the first opportunity, if it's something in motorsports, it probably logically belongs with Formula One. If it's something in music, it probably logically belongs with the Liberty Siri complex. But in many other spaces... Uh, we don't have the capital, and they don't necessarily fit particularly well with our existing entities. So this is just another tool we can use and another opportunity to put smart uh, investments to work. Uh, and upon consummation, you guys are talking as the sponsor of committing another $250 million. That's on top of what may either be half a billion or as much as $575 million if you do exercise the green shoe, correct? Yes, and as you know, it's relatively easier to scale these up. It's a lot harder to scale them down. I would hope we would find opportunities which are in the larger size from that. Uh, and we have the ability, as you know, to put in more capital from Juan, which is effectively sponsoring this, uh, yeah. and hopefully the third party sources or issuance of stock. So we would look for probably larger deals as well. But you have a much harder time scaling back, back the size of your investment than scaling up with a SPAC. I know, but you guys, I mean, typically look for sort of opportunities that are, you know, that may have some hair on them and other people don't want to take a chance, but you get an understanding of them or you're able to use, again, you know, your proficiency in terms of understanding the uh, financing and the, and the capital markets and lots of different things. I just, there's so much SPAC money chasing these deals right now. Why do you think you're going to be able to end up with a good one? No, that's a very fair question. There clearly is a lot of SPAC capital. Uh, I hope we will be able to uh, not just offer our capital it's, uh, through this back, but offer some of the expertise, some of the other relations we have, some of the insights that you've heard today from Dr. Malone and others uh, to, to be of value to any potential targets or any potential entities in which we invest. And I think there's gonna be opportunities as the pandemic in our view will linger. Uh, this isn't gonna be a, a switch turned off or on in terms of this, the economy. There are going to be different segments which come out at slower rates, and there, I suspect there will be opportunities, and we, there are opportunities where we hope we can assist those companies. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.